Hey, what's up guys? Greg with OM Gadgets here, back with another video. And up until now, this is what my setup has looked like. It looks fine, right? Nothing really out of the place, standard and normal. But you know what? This isn't your regular gadgets. This is OM Gadgets. And we all know what the OMG stands for. So what I went ahead and did is I replaced that 27-inch 1080p monitor with a freaking 4K 40-inch TV because this is OM Gadgets. So recently I built a new PC with a KB Lake 7700K and a 1070 graphics card. So now I have a lot more horsepower to play with and I decided that I need something more powerful in the display department than my 27 inch HP 1080p monitor. I don't want to invest $400 plus into a 4K monitor and I get to thinking why not use a 4K TV? What's really the limitation when going with a TV instead of a monitor? So I'll get this out of the way right now. If you are a hardcore gamer and you're competitive, you want the highest refresh rate as possible. Now when you buy a monitor, normally you're going to get something like 144 hertz, which will support that frame rate even at 4K, which is great for gaming. But I'm not that person. I'm more productivity focused and I only have two games installed right now and I don't think I'm going to install any more. That is Grand Theft Auto V and Counter-Strike. Now, I play Counter-Strike leisurely. I don't play competitively at all. I do it to chill. It's something I've been doing since I was a teenager. So Counter-Strike for me is more of a just sit back and chill type of game, not uh, something that I really need the highest quality monitor for. So I started doing my research. And here are the things that I found. Basically, what you're looking for when you want to buy a TV to use as a computer monitor are great color accuracy a low input lag and support of HDMI 2.0 because HDMI 2.0 is capable of outputting 4K at 60 Hertz. So I looked around online to see what TVs support that. A lot of it is Sony's. Now I didn't want to spend $600 on this purchase. I wanted to spend something around three to four hundred dollars. So I came across this Samsung 40 inch 4K TV available at Best Buy. And as of today, the price tag on it is $300, which is a complete steal. Now I'm gonna put the model number and a link to it in the description. I'm not gonna call out the model number because it's like this long and I don't remember it to be honest, but it's basically a 40 inch 4K TV made by Samsung for $300 which also supports HDR. Now, you're not gonna be able to get that HDR content coming from your PC today. At least I don't know that you can. I haven't been able to do it with mine, but this is a smart TV, so the built-in apps that it does have, like Netflix, will support HDR content. I've tried this, and with shows like Daredevil and others, you'll be able to get that HDR content, which for $300 is a really good deal. Now, moving on to color accuracy, what you want to look for when considering a TV to use as a monitor is something called Chroma 444. I don't exactly know what this means, but in my research I found that if you want something that gives off good color, something comparable to a computer monitor, you want Chroma 444 and nothing else. So do not consider any TV other than Chroma 444 when using it for a computer monitor. Now another thing to consider is input lag, and mostly that's for games. If you're using this thing just for productivity, like if you're editing videos or typing Word documents or doing photo editing, then really it doesn't matter what your input lag is, you're not going to really notice it. Now if you're gaming on the other hand, then it will be noticeable. And thankfully this TV that I've chosen does not really have a noticeable input lag. When I'm playing Grand Theft Auto V, I don't notice it at all because that's not the type of game that relies on a low input lag. However, when I play Counter-Strike, I understand that yes, it's not the fastest to respond to my movements, but it's just fine for me. I'm still able to get my headshots with the AK-47 on the terrorist side, and it's working just fine. So input lag, I would say, unless you're a hardcore gamer, shouldn't keep you from buying this TV if you want to use it as a computer monitor. So guys, I want to be honest with you. I want to give credit where it's due. 
Really, the final factor that made me decide to go with the specific TV that I went with and to actually jump into this 40-inch 4K TV on my desk was a video that a YouTuber by the name of TechJ Media put out about his experience with this exact TV. He basically sells it perfectly. And after I watched it, I knew that this was the TV that I had to get. Now, the fact that it's for $300 of Best Buy right now means that it's a very good deal. And the way that Tech J Media described it in his video just lets you see that it's really a good option. I just want to give a quick shout out to him because without his video, this investment would not have been possible. Ever since I switched to this monitor, my productivity has just improved, especially with video editing. Gaming is such an enjoyment now with that huge display right in front of you. I mean, 40 inches with 4K at about three to four feet away from your face is just perfect. It's really a good pixel density to be looking on such a big display like that at that distance. So where does that leave us? Basically guys, if you are not a hardcore gamer, again, I really recommend that you really investigate this. You can get a much bigger display for less money than what you would be paying for a monitor. And that is just a huge win across the board. This is Greg with OM Gadgets. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out my Facebook. If you want to see what's upcoming on the channel, feel free to follow me there. And I'll see you in the next video. This is Greg with OM Gadgets. Bye.